And good evening and welcome to Scare to a Sunday Synopsis for Sunday, August the 2nd, 2020. Yes, I did just say August. I cannot believe that we are now in August and in any other normal year, we would be looking forward to Halloween starting next month. Some of the big events have their opening opening dates in September and yeah, we would have been looking to um, to go along, but who knows what's going on at the moment. Obviously, at this time of year, by now, we would normally have all the lineups of all the attractions, all the dates announced. We would know what's going on with most of the scare attractions. And there's so many of them just still haven't announced anything yet. I think there's so much uncertainty as what's going on. And as we go through the news today, yes, there's some good news on coronavirus, but there's also some bad news. And I think we just got to expect that it's going to be a pretty crappy year for us uh, scare fans and people who like like uh, what we do but there is some bright lights at the end of the tunnel uh, and it's not a train heading towards us so let's get through the news for this week and uh, we will cover that in more detail so first up the biggest piece of news this week was that kent scareground has just been announced uh, this is a new venture from the team behind Madhouse Margate. Now, we've visited Madhouse Margate several times. They had a few problems in their final year. Um, they had a vindictive landlord who wanted to get them out of the venue and cause lots of trouble for them, uh, which is a shame because they are so imaginative, so clever. They're a family-run group, and every time we've been through Madhouse Margate or any of the mazes there, they've always put on a really, really impressive show. Um, so yeah, they've announced that they're going to be building a brand new event in Kent called Kent Scareground, um, with four or five mazes. It's going to be one to watch. It's really exciting to actually realize that someone is going to take a, take a, a gamble during this period and come up with something new and interesting. So, uh, we will follow, follow that with, um, Follow that closely and obviously any news or whatever we get on that, we will pass it on. Also this week has seen uh, some other good news. Passage del Terra has reopened, uh, reopened yesterday. Um, there are quite strict rules there, right? You have to wear a mask. You are only allowed in in the bubble that you traveled with. So you're not, um, you're not put in the group with any other strangers, which is great. All the actors are wearing masks and the actors have even got makeup over their masks so actually some of them you don't even realize that they've got masks on um it seems like the show is all working perfectly um it seemed as busy and as scary as normal and with the smaller groups it makes it even scarier so um they are currently open now hopefully will open now all the way through to december when the blackpool pleasure beach uh, and blackpool ex extend their season right up until christmas the other attraction that opened this weekend was London Dungeon. Now, London Dungeon uh, has slightly larger groups than the Passage do, so you are likely to be in there with people that aren't in your bubble. But in every room, you are asked to stand away from people, stand in your own bubble. Um, again, face masks, masks on the actors, and they've taken away some of the some of the attractions. Like, so the boat ride isn't there anymore, which means some of the scenes are missing. The labyrinth is a one-way walkthrough, but the drop ride is still there at the end. So it's interesting to see how they are doing that. And that does give an indication that scare attractions can potentially open with a much, much reduced capacity. And this is probably going to be the problem for some of the big screen, um, big screen parks and scare events. If they can't get the people through, they're not going to be able to put on the show that they normally would or have the large number of actors. Um, but yeah, that's uh, those two. So it is an indication of what could be done. Looking forward um, into uh, Halloween and seeing what else is going on. So Horrorland have announced their new lineup. They are removing the Cabin in the Woods and the Krampus is coming in instead. Um, to me, that probably doesn't feel like a massive um, thematic change, but it's a good new story change. Um, obviously, Horrorland are in a... they. They are in Spain and they are in a region that has been badly hit by coronavirus. So um, they need to get uh, that attraction up and open. So uh, they, again, have got lots of rules about face masks and temperatures and all the usual things. And that is going to become the new norm for Halloween. You are going to have to wear masks and you are going to have to stay in socially distant groups through Halloween. There is no way those rules will be changing between now and Halloween. 
here, Spain, or anywhere. So, got to get used to it, guys. Uh, also, for this year, Fear Island have... Uh, they put an audition notice out, which means they're looking for actors. So, Fear Island is the event at Fantasy Island. Uh, it's created by Atmosphere Scare Entertainment. So, that means they are looking to go ahead. And again, uh, the mazes are are smaller well the the audience and the throughput of the mazes are smaller so they can probably get away with this in the same way that passage and london will uh, it's not like a massive event where there's thousands of people going through every single maze so it'll be interesting to see what happens there and we can follow that up what else have we got in some bad news uh we have announced that castle point ghost tours will not be happening again this year They've been having trouble with venues. They used to be in a bus museum, then they were in a small um, family theme park in Canvey Island, but they still haven't got a venue for this year, so that will be the second year in a row that they won't be happening. So there's no Castle Point Ghost Tours. There was also an interesting video issued by uh, Matt from Frightmare where they were talking about their, their opening and what they've got, what they're doing with coronavirus and how they're keeping people safe. But it did leave a bit of a teaser at the end that could indicate that uh, Frightmare, as we know it, would not be happening. Um, Matt is like many of the farm parks and the many of the large uh, attractions, very uncertain that they can actually do a busy show with all the social distancing rules and whatever. So, yeah, it just goes to show that the farm parks are starting to think about what they can and can't do. And um, as soon as we get any more news out of them, we will let you know. Another bad news, the Vault Festival in London have announced that they will not be running in 2021. Uh, that is because they know that by the time theatres are allowed to open up again and performance spaces, they still need to plan the whole schedule, get the lineup, rehearsals and everything like that. So they've said that they will not now run till 2022. Now, it's a shame because the Vault Festival always has a number of little hidden secrets. Um, the dark field sound uh, containers that we've visited a number of times, they've been at the Vault Festival. There's always some little dark uh, performances and some avant-garde sort of horror pieces in there. So, uh, yeah, we will miss uh, going there. Some good news is the... Welsh Government have now allowed underground tours to recommence, which means the Black Chasm at the Silver Mountain Experience is now open again. Again, we're not sure what's going to happen with Terror Mountain, the uh, the evening event, but at the moment, the Black Chasm is now reopened at the Silver Mountain Experience at Aberystwyth. Um, we mentioned Dartfield earlier. Um, Dartfield have actually just extended their show double. If you haven't done it, this is the... Um, the show where you just sit with your headphones on at a kitchen table. Uh, it's about eight minutes or 18 minutes along or whatever. Uh, we've done it. We really enjoyed it. It's very, very clever. Great fun. Uh, but that's been extended till the middle of August. It was due to run out yesterday. So uh, if you get a chance, you know, it's only a few pounds. So it's worth doing. And finally, the other big thing announced this week was the wonderful team behind Zombie Infection have announced a new event called turf wars now it's hard to describe what this is turf wars feels like a cross between an escape room a zombie experience and a bit of crystal maze it's definitely got some physical elements there is a an adversary in the room with you um, and what's so fun about when you book this is you get to choose who you're up against um, and it's like it's like playing a computer game you know you get to choose certain people have got uh, either better cunning or better strength or better um, you know uh, problem solving ability and you have got to try to escape the room and, and trying to escape the experience while avoiding being caught by the the person uh, the, currently the only dates uh, that are on sale are in Birmingham and that opens in around October time but uh, knowing how the guys at Zombie Infection, they really like a good immersive story. Um, I think that's going to be a lot of fun. So there we go. That was a bit of good news and a bit of bad news. And it's going to be like that for the rest of the year. Um, I am aware that there are some attractions that are due to cancel. Um, we'll have to wait until they officially announce that they're going to happen, that they are going to cancel. 
but uh, it's it's understandable with the larger events but there are a lot of small events that are able to take advantage of working around some of the rules and some of the regulations so yeah we just need to get on with halloween as much as we can um stay safe whatever we're doing as i said earlier you're gonna have to remember to wear a mask you're always gonna have to follow by all these new rules uh we've got used to it when we go shopping we've got used to it when we go to a theme park or anywhere else and we just got to expect that um things are going to be slightly different when we do a scare attraction so with that we are going to sign off we will see you next week and uh, i'm sure this week will be another week of big news and uh, with that, we are signing out and we will see you soon.